Akram Imran can only go on his land four times a year. Israel declared this area in Burin village north of the occupied West Bank a closed military zone in 2016. It's near an illegal Israeli settlement and he needs an Israeli permit to enter. These are unripe olives, so they don't generate much oil, but I'm forced to pick them now, which means I will lose this season. He hired workers to help him pick as many olives as possible in the short time he's given. His absence from the land prevents him from tending his crop. But he says what's worse is that he sees settlers attacking his trees and can't stop them. Even when Amran saw his land being burned two months ago, he couldn't access it. When he was finally allowed to visit his plantation earlier this month, he says more than half of his trees were damaged. While Israeli authorities cite security concerns for not allowing farmers in, Amran says the goal is to push Palestinians out. They want to take it from us. Our neighbors who were here left their lands after continuous settler attacks. Now they took it over and planted grapes instead of olives. Just before his permit ended for the day, Imran sent us this video of settler groups attempting to attack him and his workers. Human rights organizations have documented a dramatic increase in violent attacks by settlers this year. Activist Abdullah Abu Rahma says new generations of settlers are more violent, so they formed local committees to protect farmers. Most of the time, the Israeli army protects the settlers even when they're attacking Palestinians. That's why we want farmers to be in groups and not alone. Palestinian officials say there's an imbalance of power and have called on other states to put settlers on their list of so-called terror groups. This campaign aims to provide protection to the Palestinian people from settlers' terror. We want states to change their domestic laws so settlers will be held accountable. In the meantime, Imran hopes his trees will be safe until he's allowed to go back to his land.